Hi there, Tracy from Kazadan's Equestrian. Down in South Australia here, we're just about to begin spring. And what that means to most of us is um, dodging hairs going up our nose and down our throats during grooming time. So I thought I'd do a quick video about the horse's coat and why it sheds when it does and how. Hair's really important to a horse for uh, one for thermoregulation, so to help maintain their body temperature. Second, for sensory perception, they can feel things through the hairs. And thirdly, it creates a barrier to injury. Normally the horse's coat does change with the season and how it helps with thermoregulation is really quite dependent on how long the hair is, how thick individual hairs are and how dense, so how many hairs per area on the horse. One of the really important things that the hair does is provide an insulation barrier. And this is through an action called piloerection where the hairs stand up and it's really like um, us putting one of those down coats on. It provides a layer between the skin and the environment. Obviously, if a horse is doing this to keep themselves warm and we put a rug on that is sitting too close, too tight to the horse's fur, then it doesn't allow this process to occur. So we may actually be inhibiting them able to control their own body temperature or keep themselves warm. The hair grows just through general cycles. So there's a growing cycle and a resting cycle. So uh, during the growing cycle, obviously a hair follicle is growing. And during the resting cycle, the hair's just retained in that follicle. So really it is just sitting there. And there's cycles of change through those two phases. What's the major reason that a horse sheds its old coat to reveal its new coat or the growing coat. The major player in the cycles of coat growth and shedding is actually length of daylight hours. The daylight hours actually enter through the horse's eye and there's a pineal gland there and through a whole lot of other internal processes. The body reads whether the days are getting longer or shorter. And it's this that is the predominant factor about whether or not your horse is going to start shedding its coat or growing a winter coat. The temperature of the skin does play a role. So if you're heavily rugging your horse, sometimes this can inhibit the full winter growth. Um, however, it's absolutely not the predominant factor. So most of the horses in your climate will go through um, a coat shedding at around the same time. The coat is also a really good indicator of health. So there's a couple of things to keep an eye out for. Is your horse taking longer to shed than the other horses or is this delayed? So your other horses are all shedding and your horse doesn't start shedding until quite a lot later. If this is the case, it's really worth talking to your vet because this can be an indicator of the beginning of equine Cushing's disease. The coats also can be an indicator of um, a lacking diet. So we've got a harsh or brittle or faded coat. Um, one of the go-tos is to have a look at the diet and check that your horse's diet is balanced. Um, and if you're, if you're not happy with your horse's coat, that really should be a go-to. And lastly, there's no way getting around grooming. Grooming is one of the easiest and best ways to produce a shiny coat. So if you're looking for a shiny coat, we want to have a balanced diet and you've really got to just put in the um, elbow work, I guess, and groom your horse a good 20 to 30 minutes a day during this so that we get that beautiful and shiny summer coat coming through. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell like the video and share it around to all your friends and I'll see you next week.